And a frightening disease that affects babies in the womb is troubling called America Zika. As Action News anchor Marco Kim explains in tonight's Health Watch, a mom who passed the virus to her daughter has made it her mission to raise awareness and prevent the illness. What do you see? Can you tell me what you see on the path? Sarah Dutre took many precautions when she was pregnant with Daisy six years ago. Still, she passed on congenital cytomegalovirus, or CMV, a virus she'd never heard about. We found that CMV could cause a progressive hearing loss, and while Daisy only had a mild loss in her right ear at that time, we knew it would progress quickly. Ten years ago, Dr. Albert Park started studying CMV and helped develop a diagnostic test. We saw that quite a few of these children who previously had no diagnosis, um, no one knew what the cause of their hearing loss was, we found that it was actually could be attributed to this virus. Dr. Park has become a passionate advocate for CMV screening, which has to be done within two to three weeks of birth. He teamed up with Sarah and her mom, former state representative Rhonda Menlove, to pass a bill mandating CMV screening for babies who fail the newborn hearing test. With that screening, Daisy could have started therapy and an antiviral drug much sooner. Had we been given that option when she was an infant, we would have taken that option. We would have used the antivirals to help prevent that progression of her hearing loss or prevent hearing loss. I'd love to be at a stage where I don't see kids uh, when they're four or five with progressively worsening hearing loss from congenital CMV because we have interventions or ways to prevent that from happening. Dr. Park has FDA approval to start a clinical trial of a CMV antiviral to stop hearing loss. He hopes to start enrollment this winter. For Health Watch, Margot Kim, ABC 30 Action News.